good week. I feel like we've been practicing real hard. You know, we really focus on uh, taking care of our business on the first. And I feel like all the guys are locked in. You know, and I feel like um, if we just go out there and take care of our business, we'll come out on top. How much does it help that there's a lot of veteran guys on both sides of the ball? Does that yeah. help that process, knowing that, hey, this, this is an important game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we have a lot of veteran guys, and, you know, a lot of guys know what what's up uh, what's up takes. You know, we want to get our 10th win for Auburn. You know, we want to do it for the seniors, for all the guys that's, you know, that's leaving and going on with their future life and stuff. So, you know, we just want to do it for those guys. For you, what do you feel like your, your role is going to be in this game? Um, you know, whenever my number's called, just, just make plays. You know, that's what it's all about. And uh, I feel like my number's going to be called, and I just got to just do what I do when I put the ball. How, how special would it be for you to go out with making some big plays yeah, in yeah, your last game? Yeah, it'll be special, you know. Um, it, 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 things been hit me, you know, just just being with all my guys this week. But you know, my time here at Auburn has been real special. You know, um, a lot of a lot of my teammates they love me. I love my teammates, and I feel like you know we we gonna finish out on top. What, what's it meant to you to see the the response from people talking about with you and you yeah. winning the good guy award? Yeah. Like, what's that meant to you? It means a lot, man. You know, it just goes back on like my character. You know, just. Me just just doing everything right, you know, the little, the little small things that Coach Miles on and all the coaches preach on, you know, just doing all the little things right. And it just, just goes back to just, just taking care of the little thing. What, what have you seen out of the rest of the running back group oh, yeah, in this week? Yeah. A lot of guys, you know, they, they, they're going to be special, you know. Um, they have a good running back coach by Cadillac Williams, man. You know, he just works he works us all hard. And I feel like that, that group is going to be real special going right now and going into the future. Adding with Tank, when they add Tank, they're they really going to be really good. What's, what? the, what's the one thing you want to pass on to all these guys, you know, after your time? What, what, what do you want to, like, kind of leave them with? Man, just, just work hard, I say. Um, you know, don't take, don't take things light. Just, just do everything the right way, and I, I feel like those guys grow up and do everything the right way. What have you seen? I know he hadn't done much, but get Mark Anthony Richards yeah, out there yeah. for the first time. What, what, what have you seen anything out of him so yeah, far? He's gonna be, he's gonna be special. You know, I said it before. He's like a carry on Johnson. You know, you want to know the game. Um, he, he's just gonna be a special back, man. You know, I just can't wait to see him when, whenever it's time. Yeah. This is one of the older guys on this offense, but such a young group. How have you seen this this entire offense grow throughout the season, you know, from August to now? Yeah, you know, we had a lot of ups and downs this, this season, but I feel like the guys, you know, everybody stepped up to the plate. The young guys, the older guys. I just feel like we, we, we you know, some things didn't go our way this year, but I feel like we fought through everything. Think about all the all the running backs they got coming yeah. back next year. When you look at this you know, from the outside, it's like, how are they give the ball to all these yeah. different dudes? Because yeah. they're adding more. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be crazy. But you know, I feel like they're gonna do a good job of putting the right guys in the game whenever numbers call. But I feel like that the running back room is real special, man. You got a lot of guys like Harold Jordan, man. He's he's gonna be special. I was just telling him today, you know, his time is coming. You know, like he he works his butt off, and he just gotta, you know, the next year take it with a, a stronger approach. What are you going to miss most about being with these guys? Just being around all my teammates, you know. Um, you know I'm a friendly guy. I talk to everyone every day. You know, just, that, that's going to be the thing. You know, I heard from guys in the NFL that it, it's different because everybody is, is old enough. They, they're grown and they're moving on to different things. So yeah, that's going to be the thing. Cam, uh, Derek Brown said a couple of days ago he felt like the Peach Bowl two years ago. Yeah. You guys were lackadaisical. Yeah. Everybody was thinking about other things, things yeah. were going on off the field. Mm -hmm. What do you remember about that experience, and is it different now? Oh, yeah, it, it's totally different. We, we, we know that experience, and we don't want that to happen ever again. So, you know, like, like Coach Miles want to say, we, we have to – we came here to get our 10th win. We didn't come here to party and do anything else. We came here to get our 10th win, and we – you know, and that, that, that's what we're here for. Was that frustrating going to the Peach Bowl, seeing oh, that yeah. type of stuff? Yeah, it, it was real frustrating. You know, I feel like we should have beat that team, UCF. And don't get it wrong, they're, they're a pretty good team, but I feel like we was the better team that day. We just had a lot of guys – a lot of guys that wasn't focused, that wasn't there, you know, so – I feel like this we we gonna come out with a good outcome this week. How, how much effort was it last year? Oh yeah, you know we 
like I wanted to get a bowl win. I, since I have I only won one bowl game since I've been here, so I just wanted to get a get a win, man. And, that, and that's our approach, you know. That, that's what you come to these bowl games for. Most teams, they they focus on other things, but I feel like we have a great team where we got a lot of veteran guys that's actually like firing into the program. We don't have no guys that that's focusing on the NFL. Well, we could have, you know. We got guys like Derrick Brown that they could could have said that he didn't want to play, but you know he. He's an Auburn man. He, he stayed here. He fought through. So that, that's what it's all about. What have you done this week? I know you've been here a few days to yeah. kind of soak it in a little bit with your friends and your yeah. seniors. This will be the last time yeah. you guys have got together until you have a reunion maybe five, ten years down the road. Yeah, i just been, you know, just hanging out with each guy on the team, you know, just soaking in things, trying to motivate the young guys for the future. Just, just trying to do all the little things right. That, that's, that's been my thing, and just, 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 just taking care of the little things. I know it probably doesn't hit you, but does it hit you knowing that this is it? Oh yeah, yeah. I've been having like little flashbacks and stuff when I was a freshman and stuff. So you know, things have hit me a little bit, but I feel like I'm gonna be alright. I know we've talked to you about this a good bit, but now that it's kind of winding down, mm -hmm. what, what do you, when you look back at your decision to come to Auburn and oh, also yeah. to stay here for four years, so I mean, yeah. what, 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 what are you, you going to look back on? Nah, I feel like I, I like a small a, a kid like me coming from a small town, Port Arthur, Texas. You know, most people don't get this opportunity to uh, to come from from that town to yeah. here. And you know, I could have went anywhere. You know, I had offers from it, pretty much everybody. I was a top running back out of Texas. I could have went to could have went to Baylor, could have went to Texas, but you know I chose to come to Auburn. You know I felt like it was gonna be a real good decision for me. I felt like it was gonna help me be, become a better man.